fires among the people. Feels like it's been forever since I was back in my shed. Good to be home. Now, how do we start our search? No idea. I was hoping you'd point the way. I hope I'll be able to help you find what you're looking for, but if I were you, I wouldn't expect too much from my memories. They're rather vague. It's been so long. Give your can open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. You have any idea where we should start looking? Nah, not really. I barely even remember my dad. He disappeared when I was a kid. Never really even saw him here. Do you have any memories of your dad? Well, he was gone a lot. Traveling. But yeah, I mean, like, when he was home, I remember the stories he would tell me. <laughs> Crazy shit. And he'd make me a lot of drawings, just things to make me laugh, doodles and stuff. He'd do it anywhere. I remember right when I started working here, I even found one of his doodles on the wall. On a wall? Maybe more than just a doodle. Do you have any memories of your dad? Well, he was gone a lot. I remember- On a wall? Did your father have any secrets? Who doesn't, Zack? Not as many as technomancers, I'm sure, but secrets tend to come with being a Reacher. See shit when you're out and about, and you don't want to talk about it when you get home. So, yeah, I'm sure he had them. But I was so damn young that they were sure as hell nothing he ever told me about. So this is where your father worked? Yeah. I mean, looks nothing like... Desk was taken out a long time ago by someone, looted, or... I don't know. But, yeah, 
This is where he worked. What about all his tools? They're gone too. Most. But I found a box in his room which probably had his favorites, and... He had a locker that I never cracked. Let me take a look at the tools and locker. All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Your old friend Mark apparently made drawings that diagrammed how he improved his rover. They gotta be around here somewhere. You ever talk to you about them? No, I don't believe him. That was some time ago, though. But, but I do recall his rover undergoing massive changes at some point. Vaguely, like a fuzzy, hazy dream. Where did he used to put his valuables? Oh, Zachariah, I'm not... I'm not sure he had valuables. Not, at least not in financial terms. Valuable with memories, perhaps? Those things he put in the locker, I believe. I if I recall correctly. You ever look inside that locker, Amelia? No, I just... No. It had a big lock with a code on it. Never knew how to get in, and after a while, I just forgot about it. Also felt like going through his stuff was kind of acknowledging he was never coming back. Maybe I can break it open. Do you remember where he'd put his tools and drawings? Mark was was private and, and protective of his stuff. Didn't like people nosing around. And since he always had people visiting his shed, he would he would take things, tools and things, into his bedroom when they came. I always found it curious why someone will want to sleep with a screwdriver, but to each his own. Right. Well, maybe they're still in there. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if, if not something you're looking for. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real- I'm trying, Zach. What about a lucky number? Did he have one? I don't... If he did, I never knew. Or sure as shit, don't remember now. Maybe he used you, or your mom's birthdays, or their anniversary, or something like- You really think I didn't already try all those? Seriously? Give me a little credit. What else was important to your dad, other than his family? He was a reacher, so traveling in his rover. <laughs> I remember that rover. Remember one time we wrote this little mantra he had on the dashboard. What was it? I don't know, it was so... Something about time and exploration. Something about every soul being too short to explore all of Mars, but how each soul still brings a new discovery. Or something like that. Well, a soul's a Martian day. That's 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Worth a try? All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Scott, I'm gonna need you to dig deep inside that mind of yours for a memory. Guy, my mind is a complicated place, Zachariah. A hodgepodge of mazes of information and caskets of... broken memories, fragments, and... 
So I'll head back and check the ship. Well, yes. Eh? open. Just needed to enter the duration of a soul. All for a single key. Not a damn clue what it even goes to. Amelia, there was a map of the shed with his tools. Weird. It's not even close to the same shape. Like it was bigger back then. Don't remember any construction being done on it, though. Always just remember it how it is now. Perhaps, and I am just, might Mark not have built a secret room in a corner of the shed? One in which he might have hid some more sensitive work, or maybe a favorite food. I don't remember him having a favorite food or anything, actually. That's where your mind goes? A secret room for secret food? Now you've officially fucking lost it. When all likely things are ruled out, the only other options are the unlikely. Nothing to lose by at least poking around to see. Who knows? May even find this secret room. hiding some sort of slot. Maybe it's a lock? Mark was quite the jester. He had the audacity, built a secret room in one of the army's sheds and hid a lock in one of his doodles. Oh, what a bold man. He was always the cooler one. His notes are pretty detailed about this icebreaker. He even lists all the materials needed to build it. I should be able to find them. Oh, and there's a drawing of the whole rover here. That's perfect! I can retrofit the front of my rover and just attach the icebreaker right to it. That brings something to my... Should we not perhaps insulate the machine as well, considering the horrifically low temperature conditions at the pole? Yeah, probably why he added a special coating to the shell. Some kind of light, flexible plate, if I'm reading the notes right. Doesn't say the exact material he used, though. Says how he attached it, but not what it's made of. It calls to mind the abandoned dome. All those boxes of insulation lying about. You remember? Perhaps we could... Hmm... More consideration, at least. Yeah, that's... My dad's drawing, I could probably adapt him to the rover's frame. Why the hell were all those boxes there anyway? It's where the people who worked in the city beneath the pole lived. To live in those conditions, you better have insulation. Some damn thick skin. Maybe. Though the city shouldn't have been under the pole back then. It was nearby, not underneath. All the damn turmoil must have really fucked with the ice's structure. Only thing that's important, though, is you bringing those boxes back to me so I can make my baby cold weather resistant. Find your boy? Yes, yes, I sure did. He's in a safe place now. He's recovering. Being isolated as much as he was has. It'll take time, I'm sure, for him to be back to his former self. Until then, I will find a way to turn the assembly against Victor. 
Let him try to get another law passed. It'll be like hitting a mountain. Thank you. No, Zachariah. It is I who have indebted to you, not just for what you've done for my family, but for abundance, who deserves better than this tyrant. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Sorry we had to meet here. The source must have been difficult to get to. But I'm pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Yeah, this isn't exactly homey. What can I do for you? I've been informed about Colonel Victor's less wholesome activities and your role in revealing them. With the Assembly in uproar, my group is trying to pick a stance amidst the chaos. Colonel Victor's scandals and his methods have shocked the members of the congregation and the common people. Continuing support of the Colonel is political suicide. The trust between the people and their leaders must be restored for the good of abundance. You may be young, but you are wise. Victor is in a precarious position, and if his head is on a stake, his allies will join him. Better to jump ship before the crash. I, for one, have never approved of his methods, but the results have always been effective. The winds are changing, momentum is shifting, and we must show our objection to his brutality. Look around you. Do you see the people? They're scared. Angry. Victor's incessant intrusion has violated the privacy of their lives, their relationships. They no longer feel free. All this whistleblowing has shattered our sense of community. No one trusts each other, and vendettas and misunderstandings alike send innocents to be imprisoned, tortured, or killed at the ASC's whim. Colonel Victor won't stop until he pushes the people of abundance to flee or fight to the brink of revolution. You're painting a very dark picture here. What you're saying could happen, I agree. Victor's playing with fire, and the flames grow with each passing day. We could lose everybody. Our workers, our scientists, our soldiers. And they will be turned into our worst enemy. Corruption is rampant at every level of our corporation. But who can say no to Serum? Are you trying to bribe me? No, of course not. I was simply referring to the Colonel's buyouts of certain assembly members. This back scratching has been toxic for abundance. For now, Victor roams unchecked. I agree. Alone, I can do nothing but agree. Perhaps it is time to gather truly honest men to represent the people of our great corporation. Our army's ranks are spread thin and filled with the Colonel's lackeys. If he wanted to seize power, declare martial law, abundance wouldn't have the strength to repel him and his unjustified arrests of our master technomancers forced them to flee, adding to our enemy's advantage in skilled forces. Many of our soldiers have deserted, some unwilling to participate in Victor's madness, others turned mad by his combat drugs. We must stop Victor before it's too late. Oh my. I did not realize Victor had taken things so far. This is grave news. You're right. We need to curtail the bleeding so we can give our army a chance to rebuild. I remember a time when abundance was the crown jewel of Mars, the epitome of the best of doctors, technicians, scientists. But today, these bright minds are, oh, the horror, a travesty that Zachariah neglected to tell you about, the vilest scandal of all. My colleagues who don't run away are put away into re-education camps, giant brainwashing centers. This spiteful man you call Colonel is persecuting our best. Really? This is the first I've ever... If this is true, this is indeed a problem. Without our scientists, we'll soon lose our advantages over our rivals. Listen, man. I'm the poster girl of abundance. This city? It's my home. 
This one. I see what this piece of shit, human garbage, Colonel Motherfucker has done to it. it. Makes me pretty pissed off. We can't let this continue. I think I now understand why we didn't include a caption with the photo. You are quite persuasive. You have convinced me. I will go and try to do the same to my peers. Of course, even with unanimous focus and direction, it will take months to regain the trust of our people and rebuild the strength of our army. But most urgently, we must remove the man who started it all. An extraordinary meeting will take place in a few hours, and I have no doubt that it will end with good news. No mercy for traitors! Treacherous scum! Two-faced bastard! Cut out his tongue! Bumbling fool! Throw him in with the music!
Hi, Mr. Manser. It's good to see you. I'm happy to see you all still here. 
None of us will ever forget what you did for us, but we could still use your help. With all the new refugees coming in, we are running out of food. The valley is still young and can't produce enough crops for all of her children. I heard about a large shipment of food was being sent from the Ophir train station. A brother still works as a docker over there. He will surely help us. He can reroute the convoy to go through the nearest canyon, but that still means we'd have to stop the train. And this is where I come in. The only way to stop the train without hurting someone is if we place a small bomb under the train and set it off at the target location. I could make the bomb here, but I need raw materials. Once the bomb is finished, you take it to our brother in Ophir, recover the cargo, and bring that back to us. I see. I know that is asking a lot, but please. Some of us are beginning to starve. Any questions? About those bomb ingredients. Yes? You got them? Yes, it's all here. Take it. Thank you. I'll need some time to assemble it. Come back tomorrow. It'll be ready then. That bomb ready? Yes. Take it. Don't worry. I've got... Any questions?
Do you like fireworks? Hmm, yes. He is the one you are looking for. What can he do for you? Here's the package. Try not to blow yourself up. Thank you. He will try not to, if all goes to plan. Want to bust out of this joint? It's not that Ophir's a drag. It's just with all these ASC snooping around, I'd rather play it safe. And no, that's not boring. Come <laughs> on. 
Here you go. I hope this shipment will be enough for a while. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this. I know it's not much, but I want you to have it. Ah, now you look like a promising client. If you have serum... Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. Alright, so you got everything you need now to get your rover ready for the ice, yeah? Only thing I need left is some time. A day should do it. Want me to get started now? No reason to wait. Gotta be ready as soon as possible. <laughs> 